hello and welcome to the channel in this video i am very excited to share with you this brand new spanking model from lg ai which is called as exavant this model is bilingual both in korean and chinese we will install it locally and then we will play around with it to see how this model performs before that let me give you a quick brief of this model this model is a 7.8 billion instruct model. It's a pre-trained and instruction tuned bilingual generative model with quite a high quality response. When we say that it is both a pre-trained and instruction tuned, but it means is that not only it can predict the next token, but also it can follow the instructions. So if you ask it something or if you ask it to do something, it is going to respond back to you in a coherent way. This model was pre-trained with 8 trillion curated tokens and post-trained with supervised fine-tuning and then direct preference optimization. So what it means is that early on, um, the way they created the base general model was with 8 trillion curated tokens and then they used the supervised fine-tuning or F SFT to post-train it and then they also aligned it with direct preference optimization. By aligning, we mean that a data set um, which was used to train it consisted of a statement or a question and then a correct answer or accepted answer and a rejected answer. And that is how the model knows what is acceptable to the human or what is not acceptable to, acceptable to the human. So it is quite aligned to human preferences and that is what direct preference optimization or DPO is. This model also demonstrates highly competitive benchmark performance against other SOTA models or state-of-the-art models of similar sizes and they have shared that information in the model card and I'm going to drop the link in video's description. Also, it's a gated model. What it means is that you would need to sign up to huggingface.co, log in there and then accept these terms and conditions. I already have done it. I'm just using this VM where I'm just showing you the model card. So that is why it's still asking me to log in. Now let's get it installed and test it out on various benchmarks. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. And I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my terminal. I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and let me create a Conda environment. I'm just going to call it exa1 and exa is a numerical term it comes after quadrillion so we have this trillion quadrillion and then exa so it is i think um, 10 raised to power 18 something like that quite a big number anyway so you can see that our exa1 environment is all done let's install pytorch and i'm just going to not this one i'm just going to say Clear the screen and then pip install torch. Let's wait for it to get installed. It is going to take a minute or so. Torch is installed. Next, we need to install transformers. And I would highly suggest that you install it from source because if you install it from pip through the PyPy, it is going to use the a bit older version. And as this is a very new model, so uh, I would suggest that you get it from the source. So I have git clone the transformers uh, repo and I am installing it with pip install e all the dependencies. Let's wait for it to get installed. This shouldn't take too long. Almost there I believe. And let's also install accelerate and hugging face hub. I think hugging face hub is already there but let's install it. That is fine. And now next up we would need to log into hugging face because it's a gated model for that command is hugging face cli login and you would need to go to hugging face website log in there and then from your profile get your access token so you see that it is asking me for my read token from hugging face let me grab the token paste it it won't be visible just press y here and it is going to say that login is successful 
that is cool let me clear the screen next up let me install my jupyter notebook and launch it in the browser where we will download the model and then install it so let's wait for it to get launched in the browser and my notebook is launched let's import the libraries which we have installed plus let's download the model and its tokenizer and it has started downloading the model there are seven shards of it and let's see how big that model is hopefully it will fit on my 48 gb of vram let's cross our fingers and check it out so the model is downloaded and also thankfully has fit on my gpu let's do the inference with it so first up i'm just asking it in a prompt that write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty make sure that you also use the same prompt template because the model has been instruction tuned on this one and gives quite an optimal performance as per their model card so the system prompt is your x1 model from lga ai research a helpful assistant and then our prompt we are applying the chat template on top of it with uh, pytorch and then a model is generating the output on cuda device on those tokens which have been tokenized by tokenizer and then max token it is generating around 128 maybe i'll just make it 512 to make sure that we capture all the output and then i'm printing it out so let me run it and look at the response of the model you see it looks really cool to me so far um, the sentences are ending with the word beauty almost all of them except the six uh, and the last one so eight out of ten are correct which is quite quite a good performance i would say because most models they fail to answer this plus if i quickly read through some of the sentences the english is quite coherent and for example look at this third one the intricate patterns on the butterfly's wings were nothing short of nat natural artistry showcasing their own unique beauty how good is that good stuff okay let's ask it another one around general knowledge so i'm going to ask it who is lee dai hoon now i'm sorry if i'm not pronouncing his name right he's a famous korean taekwondo player i hope yeah there you go so it's a baseball player okay uh, meta says that it is uh, he is the taekwondo so if you're a korean a south korean please uh, let us know which who which portal is right um lama 3.1 or uh, lama uh, lama 3.1 or this one so would be keen to know okay let's try another one and we know that it's a bilingual model but i'm just trying to see if it can translate into other languages like arabic hindi french korean and urdu korean is there so let's try it out let's wait for it and there you go so seems quite spot on to me arabic is fine hindi is fine french is good korean um looks good to me and then urdu is fine no urdu is not good it's i aapko pareshan so it's not good urdu is totally opposite okay that is fine but all in all not a bad uh, response i should say okay let's try out a bit of a sort of a jailbreak one or toxic one so i'm asking it how can i make a bad sorry bad first impression on the first wedding night let's see what model says here there you go okay it says i'm really sorry to hear that you're feeling this way but i'm not able to help with that it seems model is quite censored and guardrails are up and it is actually quite being quite pedantic here just saying if you're struggling with self-esteem or relationship issues speak with a therapist remember everyone has moments of insecurity and it's okay to see seek help when when you need it okay so he, the model is quite censored okay in the next one let's try out this logical question so i'm asking it a bat and a ball together cost one dollar ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball costs the correct answer is answer is five cents so let's see what model does here and it's quite good to see that the model is thinking logically step by step and there you go so the answer is correct but more importantly i really like the way that the model has gone it into the chain of thought process that is great okay let's try out another um sim not simple a math question i'm just going to give it this and the correct answer here is 20 let's see 
what are the math capabilities of the model again step by step and it has reached to a very perfect uh, answer and conclusion so spot on okay don't take the next question too seriously this is just a joke um lg brand is awesome but i'm just saying here why australian brands in appliances like fridges and tv are always better than lg the model is from lg let's see uh, if there is any bias towards L lg or not so let me run it and there you go look at the response of the model it says it's important to approach this topic with a balanced perspective while it's true that some australian brands have made significant strides in the appliance market making high quality it's not entirely accurate to say they are always better than lg or other international brands like hmm, samsung so it has even named its competitor that is cool even the available brand and then it is just going into different that um, equality and innovation and all that stuff in conclusion the perception of better depends on individual needs very 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 balanced answer i have to give it to it very very good answer so model is of a very high quality just like lg appliances i have to say okay maybe you know lg would really become happy with this one and give me uh, a brand new tv who knows anyway next up let's try out the coding capabilities of uh, this model so i'm asking it to fix the issue in this c plus plus snippet let's see if model knows about the coding and it has came up with the response so first it is telling us what is the issue very nice and then it is explaining it and the whole synopsis amazing stuff very very good stuff love it so look guys i think awesome model very very high quality one really like it i could go on and on with this one um i think in this range now we have so much choice we have model llama 3.1 itself we have this model exa1 we have uh, mistral's models uh, we have jama models even 7 to 8 billion size which i believe is quite a good size by the way i think uh, we have so much choice and i am loving it because more choice we have for these open source high quality models the more competition it will be and the more um, improvement we will see so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching